the group on the fair play rule. They've had fewer bookings than Portugal, and it means that if Spain avoid defeat against Morocco in the last group games, then Spain will qualify for the knockout stages of the World Cup. Uh, 69 seconds which change the game. At yeah. one end, suddenly out of nowhere, Iran get a chance. They don't take it. Yeah. And a minute a bit later, they've lost the game. Well, the way Iran played um, in the first half, they'll be very disappointed. We're saying you might as well lose by a few. But the luck that they, um, I said, of Spain found themselves, yeah, he should, he's got to hit the target here. He has to hit the target, I think. You know, when you look where he is, you know, he's, he's, he's got a free strike, just hit the target. He doesn't do it. And you look at Iniesta here, could have lost it there, didn't lose it, comes back could have lost it there, rides his luck again. And then when you look at the finish, it actually bounces off of Diego Costa's knee. So I think they earned a little bit of luck for the amount of work they put in trying to break down Iran in the first half. But Iran is going to be very disappointed because when they had a go, that, you know, Spain today looked vulnerable if they, if they had a go at them early. The irony was that having scored Spain, it forced Iran for the best part of uh, half an hour to show what they could do, and they could actually play. I, mean, I'm, I don't think anyone would criticise and say they should have played like that earlier, because the no, counter-argument no. is you'd have got beaten 3 or 4-0, but well, they did show what they could do. As Patrice said, that was their plan, to stay in the game for long, exactly. and then if they concede, when they concede, if they, they were hoping they were going to concede. When they concede, let's try the plan B. But Spain, Spain is, for me, I'm, I'm very disappointed with Spain. Uh, too many player, uh, players, I don't mind Isco and Silva doing those flicks, but when Jordi Alba is doing that, when Vasquez is doing it, suddenly you have too many players who are playing like... Like, like, like show ponies. Like they're winning 3-0, <laughs> but they weren't winning 3-0. They were, Iran had actually two or three chances, you know. Yeah. So do the job first. Score three goals or even, or at least two goals, and then, and then be a little bit relaxed. Having said that, when you, we've all been there, when you're a footballer, you can still get great satisfaction by winning a game by not playing well. Listen, we all have watched in Spain, the, the, obviously the, the Spanish players are fantastic, but they got the job done. <coughs> they won the game at halftime. Everyone was saying, first, we were saying, just keep the heads, they've got that experience, and they got the job done. So credit to them. And disappointed, obviously, we ran, we ran, but their reaction was very good when they played. But having said that, it's kind of very easy to play when you're losing a game of football. They did think they'd equalise. And actually, to be fair, Patrice VAR has had a bit of a mixed week with Harry Kane and Pavel of Argentina probably should have had one. But VAR was quite right here, even though it ruined all the celebrations in Tehran and throughout Iran, because Estelahi is clearly offside there when the flick-on comes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course, the VAR play against a big part. And uh, it was the right decision. But actually, uh, the touchline referee ends up his hand. So he was, he, was, uh, he was offside. He was a clear offside. So that's good. So that's good. But then they had a great chance right at the end as well, Patrick. Terrific nutmeg here. Mm. And Taremi charging in at the far post. Do you think he should have done a bit better? Yeah, he should have done better. He should have done better. That kind of chance, you know, he will be the hero of all the countries. So, yeah, he should score there. What did you think? Yeah, I, no, I think he should score. It's not as if he's underneath it. He's hit it with his forehead. And when you're that close, of course, you hit the target. It's guaranteed a goal. Now, is this the moment of the World Cup for you so far? Well, I, I love this scramble. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's the kind of scramble that, because I would have been so frustrated with the Iranian players from the first half, I'd just be kicking everything here. <laughs> and saying to the ref, I'm going for the ball. I'm going for the ball. Like, you know what I mean? I, you, you just look at that, it's just like, that's defending. Really. That is, you know what, wherever you are in the world, whatever Bang. side you're playing on, whatever surface, we've all, we've all played in the game. And that's had a great one. Yeah, that's yeah, a great one. Yeah, look, look at them. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, look at that. They, they put everything. Their determination. Yeah. They put everything. Yeah. I know, but you, they should be proud. They yeah. should be proud. Yeah, but what you do, like Wright, you would have said, you, you kick the ball and the three players over the line. <laughs> you should get it over. Yeah. Wright, so, you, you, you have to get it over. <laughs> yeah. And Carlos. Yeah. 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 Kick everything. You've got you would have got it over the line. So, I would have done some I'd have tried, yeah. People say about Diego Costa, nasty player. Came in there and just tried to, <laughs> tried to tap it in. <laughs> tried to kick anyone. He's not a nasty player. The interesting thing is, we saw it with Morocco today as well, and we've just seen it with Iran. On. There's a lot that's good about their play, but they, 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 neither of them have scored. They didn't score an open play. Iran's, Iran's win against Morocco was an own goal. For all that the build-up is quite nice and quite neat, that, that, that's where these teams clearly struggle, Patrice. They yeah, just, but of course, they but they, they, they're missing a, a quality player. Yeah. That's make the difference. That's why they're missing. They got everything, the proud, they're running, they, they give everything they got, but after you need like a player make the right decision, you know. That's why we are talking about Costa... 
exactly. and Ronaldo and Coutinho's goal. Exactly. No, Morocco, you're right. I agree with you totally. Morocco in these in these two games, Morocco showed uh, yeah. really good football, yeah. but unfortunately they don't Gone, have yeah. that. It's the hardest bit of the game. That's the that's the hardest part of football. That's why we keep talking about Ronaldo and the Messi's defending is the easiest part. It's putting the ball in the back net is the hardest. That's why these lads scoring 40 or 50 goals a season. Fantastic. That's why they pay the big money in, right? Absolutely right and all. You know, they do it consistently as well. But when, like I said, right, right at the death there, you see the, the, the Iranian player not making him getting across. They've got the ability to, to open teams up, but they chose to play negatively in the first half. No, but we are talking about Morocco. We are, talk, we are not talking about Iran from the first half. We are talking actually yeah, I, about I, the yeah, teams that, that, are the that are attacking. Yeah. attacking. So you have yeah, to feel sorry for them. I'm not feeling sorry don't for them. Have that, because that they've one got players first. that obviously can do something. <laughs> yeah. And they, in the second they, half, when they lose, they, they start to play. They, and now you're, you're saying you feel sorry for them. They should have played better the first half. Oh, you, they got quality players. No, they got players in the first half. Talking about, 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 talking about Morocco. It's yeah. a different country, you know. Yeah, but I want to talk about Iran. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about Iran. What, what are you doing? What are you going down there for? We're we'll sort of, we'll speaking we'll speak afterwards because we always do this. It's ridiculous. Uh, stay with us. Next, we'll hear from Marcus Rashford on the celebration.